Hey guys, welcome back. Now, once a year, Kathy Wood and the team at ARK Invest create their big ideas for the year. In this report, they discuss all the biggest things going on when it comes to technology and in particular, disruptive innovation. And is there anything big going on right now? Well, only that they believe we're in the biggest technological boom in human history. So yeah, pretty big. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the biggest highlights when it comes to crypto and blockchain, and we'll cover the big price predictions that were made by the team, including the reason why we're in the biggest tech boom in history, then the big predictions made for Bitcoin with their massive price targets, and then we'll finish with the big predictions made for the top smart contract platforms, which ones were called out and also how high could they be going over the coming years. Okay, so first up, starting with the big picture, and this is why ARK believes we're living in the biggest tech boom in human history. So they began their big ideas with this big picture view, saying that converging technologies are generating a historic technological wave, and in fact, the biggest in history. So these are the different technologies that have come in over the past couple of hundred years and their impact on GDP. So starting with the 1800, and we can see the impact that the steam engine had at that time. Then about 50 years later, we had the introduction of railroads, the telegraph, photography, and the bicycle. Then this was the biggest tech boom that had ever been seen before in 1900. And this is when the internal combustion engine, electricity, the telephone, radio, the fact that they had fridges and air conditioning all coming at the same time. And this led into chemicals and synthetics, materials, the car and the assembly line, television and the jet engine. Then 1960, integrated circuit, nuclear power and containerization. 1980 was the big boom of PCs, biotech and fiber optics. Then just in the year 2000, we get the internet, cell phones, GPS and the web, closely followed by e-commerce and renewables. And it's scary to think that everything that we have as modern day humans has only really come in the last 200 years, with the human lineage going back close to a million years. And everything from electricity to fridges to our phones and computers only came in the past 200 years. It's pretty incredible. And then as of right now, this is why we're seeing the biggest tech boom that we've ever seen so far, where we have cryptos, smart contracts, digital wallets, which is what we'll focus in the remaining of this video, but also the big breakthroughs in biology and AI, autonomous mobility, batteries, robotics, rockets, and 3D printing, with the biggest one being AI. And another thing that they really pointed out is that AI is actually accelerating faster than forecasters had anticipated. So this basically shows how fast or how quick we're going to get an AGI, which is an artificial general intelligence. And this just means a system that can do everything that a human can do. So although something like ChatGBT can do certain tasks a lot better than a human, the AGI is when it can do everything. So a general intelligence better than a human. And it was only in 2019 that they thought it was going to take about 80 years. So not that long ago, they thought it was quite far away. Then in only one year with the breakthroughs, it went from 80 years to only being 50 years away. And again, a year later, 34 years away. Again, a year later, 18, and now 2023, they believe it's only eight years away. 
However, they got it wrong again and again and again. So if that continues, then it's gonna come quicker than we think. And in only three years, it will be here. So AI is progressing a lot faster than people think. And then this was a very interesting piece of what is going to happen with this disruptive innovation over the next seven years. So this is the equity market cap of 2023 and non-innovation making up the bulk. So about a hundred trillion and the disruptive innovation part only about 20%. However, they are predicting that in the next seven years, it's going to make the bulk of the equity market cap, which is a very big prediction. So disruptive tech being over 200 trillion and the rest only being 140. And then this is the breakdown of the compounded annual growth rates for each one. Artificial intelligence growing close to 40%, energy storage 50, blockchains close to 50, robotics actually growing the most at 80%, and then multinomic sequencing at 40. So now that we have the growth rate for blockchains, we can see what this means for investors. So I did a hypothetical and I took $100,000, and if you were to invest it at the growth rate that they've said at 48% growing compounding per year, then in seven years, your $100,000 is going to be 1.5 million, giving investors a 15 times increase on your money. So obviously massive predictions for blockchain technology. And this is the first of their big price predictions. Now moving on to Bitcoin. So firstly, they're pointing out that in 2024, there is some major catalysts coming our way for Bitcoin. So we started the year with the huge spot ETF launches, and this is now a way of giving investors a direct, regulated and liquid way to get exposure. And now people can buy and sell Bitcoin through their existing broker accounts. And already these ETFs have been, if not the most successful in history. Next on the hit list, we have Bitcoin's halving coming up very soon. And this is something that happens every four years. And it's where the reward for mining new Bitcoin gets cut in half. And historically, the halving events have coincided with the beginnings of the bull market. Now, I'll probably never forget when CZ of Binance pointed out that actually the bull market begins at the very bottom of the bear market. So in fact, we've been in a bull market for well over a year. The bull market actually started when Bitcoin had hit $15,500. And I think what they mean is that the halving event coincides with the beginning of the mania stage of the bull market. So this is expected in April, and it's gonna reduce the inflation rate from 1.8% to 0.9. Then the next two things they see is institutional acceptance, and this is a big shift in perception that's going to happen where people will be allocating Bitcoin to their portfolio. And we had Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, going from Bitcoin skeptic to saying it's a flight to quality. And then lastly, regulatory developments coming this way as well. So when it comes to the optimal allocation for Bitcoin in portfolios, ARK came up with this big idea and it's using the Sharpe ratio, which is something that's used a lot in the traditional financial world and they look at a rolling five-year period, and what they're working out is the risk-adjusted returns of each asset, and then building a portfolio from there. And once you do that, right now it's saying that it's almost a 20% allocation to Bitcoin is the ideal allocation, and it looks like this. So interestingly, 40% would be for gold, 30% to equities, 
almost 10% for commodities and 20% for Bitcoin. Now the 20% for Bitcoin makes a lot of sense, but 40% in gold is quite interesting. But when you look at the breakdown, actually for most of the years, there was a much bigger allocation to bonds. So it was mostly bonds, which makes a lot of sense. We've probably all heard of the 60-40 portfolio between bonds and equities. However, in the last couple of years, bonds had one of the worst performances for hundreds of years, which is why I think it's recently flipped over to gold. But Remembering this, that the ideal allocation according to the Sharpe ratio is 20%. And this brings us on to our next big price predictions from ARK. And this would be, what would this optimal allocation into Bitcoin do to the price if, if allocations from the $250 trillion global investable asset base went into Bitcoin. So if everybody suddenly decided to allocate 1% into Bitcoin, it would instantly take the price to $120,000, approximately a three times increase from today's price. Then according to the Sharpe ratio, if all of a sudden everybody were to allocate almost 5% into Bitcoin, this would jump the price to half a million dollars or a 13 times increase. And then the big price prediction for this year would be the 20% allocation. And this would be a 50 times increase from today's price. And if you remember the big ideas report from last year saw Bitcoin going to about 1.5 million. And so Again, ARK have knocked it out the park with their top end now being $2.3 million for Bitcoin. And last couple of slides, let's just cover smart contracts. So they say smart contracts are the foundation of the internet financial system. In their infancy, smart contracts are powered by a novel financial system that is native to the internet. Ignited by Ethereum, the largest smart contract blockchain, multiple networks are supporting on-chain activity and vying for market share. And here they show two things. First, just being the biggest smart contract platforms right now, being Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Avalanche, Tron, and Polygon, and how much they grew last year. Solana knocking it out of the park with an excellent comeback over 900%. And then this is the amount of transaction fees that came through of these top six smart contract platforms. So obviously Ethereum being very, very dominant, Tron generating a lot of fees, and BNB, Avalanche, Solana, and Polygon. And their big idea for smart contracts is that they could generate fees of $450 billion over the next several years. So smart contracts could facilitate the origination, ownership, and management of on-chain assets for a fraction of the traditional financial costs. And basically saying that they could generate fees of almost half a trillion dollars and create more than five trillion in market value, increasing at a compound annual rate of 78% and 32% respectively. So I think that's a typo because we've got 78% correlating here and they're saying 32, but I think they mean 37. So this is to do with the fees they're going to generate and this is the actual growth of the market value of the smart contract platforms growing at 37%. So finally, we can take that 37% and again, just the smart contract platform segment, $100,000 if you were to invest it over the next seven years will grow to just under a million. So nine times increase, but as this is just predictions, let's round it up and say approximately a 10 times increase for smart contract platforms. So again, another massive price prediction from ARK.
Ontia, Kathy Wood and the team at ARK Invest create their big ideas report for the year. And although we just looked at the biggest takeaways for crypto, it also includes AI, robotics, energy storage, space, just to name a few. Ark believes right now we're going through the biggest technology boom humanity has ever seen. So obviously this creates a lot of opportunity for investors. On a risk adjusted basis, Ark believes that the optimal portfolio allocation would be 20% to Bitcoin. And if everyone were to do this, this would be a 50 times increase, taking the price of Bitcoin to over $2 million per coin. And if that wasn't enough, they also see smart contracts booming, creating almost half a trillion dollars worth of fees over the coming years as the traditional financial system gets tokenized. And finally, they see public blockchains compounding close to 50% for the next several years. But obviously anyone who's been in crypto for a while knows that that will not be just a straight line up. So there you are guys, hope you enjoyed. Now tell me what were your biggest takeaways from this report, let me know below. However, just remember to get rid of 100% of the comment spam and trading bots that plague YouTube comments. We are trying out the new super thanks commenting system. So to get your question or comment read and replied to, or just to say thanks, then use super thanks below. And for now, just to say, if you did enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.